Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1403 hours on Friday, September 16th, 2016. What are you doing? Well, what What are you doing? I got a phone. Okay. But I am making it so that instead of my phone sitting like this on my desk, because it's meant for a wall mount, okay. I am using some scraps so that I can look at my keys when it's sitting on my desk. You could do that, or you could go into the pile of like, we have games full of those phones, and we can give you a different one that's a desk phone and not a wall phone. Um, that's a thing that could happen, if, if you wanted. We got them. We got lots of them. Well, it's already programmed. All right. You, so, if it makes you happy. Plus, it gives me something creative to do. Oh, well, okay. Because you don't have any work that needs doing today. No, none. Yeah, lots of time. Tons of time. Yeah. So Batman got some Gaylords, and we got uh, a couple fire extinguishers, which is cool. The downside is they're dry camp. So I see that's a CO2. These are all dry camp. Are you? Is this big one back here dry camp? Yeah, it's dry camp. All right. So these will get allocated through the building. I got to check tags on them, but look at that. 16, 17, August. So, she's still good. And we'll check the I dates. Do that. That huh? Before. Cool, check the dates on them. See if they're all good. Any that are good, put in, or any that are bad, take out of this pile and put in a pile here. Okay. Just sort them up. Thank you. Oh. He's a real pain sometimes. Oh, yeah, and you're just sweetness and light. So, we did uh, the autopsy this morning with Holger. Went great. It was cool watching that because. I've sat in that chair a couple billion times, and it was neat having, like, I was like, you do it. It's your show. Go nuts. I don't want nothing to do with it. So I just sat back and, and got to watch, and that was kind of cool. And VJ's here. It's all going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Let's go do VR. I was going to switch the camera. You could do that. You should switch the camera. We'll do VR now. I want to make these work so bad. Hi. Christian's back. Yes, he is. He can even hold the camera. He can. He could do the viewer mail camera. Here. Okay. Now, on top, see those two little holes on either side of the hot shoe? Mm -hmm. Those are the microphones, so don't cover it with your finger. As soon as I was like, nope. This is, this is everything you need to know when holding that camera. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tuck your elbows in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because when you're holding a point and shoot, Tuck your elbows in and hold it out away from you. Because if you hold it like this, the microphones are on top, it will hear your breathing at a level that annoys the entire audience. Okay. So, out. See the rubber grip on the back on your right hand? Mm -hmm. Pinch it like this, yep. like that. This hand goes like that. There you go. Like and, then, and look through the screen. Because yep. that's what the camera sees. Doing it like this doesn't work well. <laughs> okay, so yep. now you know how to hold a point and shoot. Yeah. Hi! Hi, animal. Puppy! Hi kids! Hi kids! Hi! Are you fresh or stupid? Yes, you've been outside. You guys welcome with your mail? Yep. Hi, how are you doing today? Still got headaches. I didn't expect to see you today. Yeah. I heard you had like migraine doom. I did. Okay. It's still not gone, but okay. Alright, well you're just whatever works for you today. Just chill. It's cool. Alright, do we have everybody? Yeah, cool. Hi there guys, welcome to the Geek Group. It's time for viewer mail for Friday, September 16th. It's 14.07 hours. It never gets old. And doesn't say who it's from. Oh, it's a much better blade than the old one. Ooh, hey! How about that? Is there a note? There's there's a It's from Eric Snurdhammer! Hi, small metric socket set for the avionics lab. It was only a few bucks more than a full set compared to a single five millimeter. Thank you, sir. 
That's cool. So he, it was only a couple bucks more to, oh, it's a tech tenor. Well, we know it's high quality then. That's cool. This is actually pretty badass for the avionics lab, which is actually the aeronautics lab, but we're, I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you, Mr. Snurdhammer. That's cool. That's useful as hell. What's in the box? Ship 2, viewer mail, care of that one asshole who's on camera. 902 letter guard. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's somebody who knows me. You know, I'm not the only asshole who's on camera. That asshole's on camera pretty regular himself. What? What do we have? We got... Metal alloy steel enduring. And lots of endurable from Thermotronics. Huh. Use these in the electronics and avionics labs. Trust me, they work way better than wet paper towels. Keep building awesome, Ryan Willis. Thank you, sir. Refills. Keep building awesome, Ryan Willis. P.S. How did you like the flashlight I sent in a while back? Um. Most flashlights I give out to people. The one I kept is this one, which I think Harvey got me. This is the Phoenix LD12, which I think came from Harvey. Not 100%. But I like this one a lot. Um, the other ones I have given away to staff and stuff. I, I give them out on birthdays and stuff. Um, as a rule, around the geek group, for all staff, if you've been here a year, on your first birthday, you get a, uh, a flashlight and a multi-tool. On your second birthday, you get a lockpick set and a practice lock. Where's my flashlight? You didn't get a flashlight? I'll have my multi tool. Well, I'll get your flashlight. Let me get that sorted. Open. God. Somewhere, there's a company in which a guy is machining brass. And on the 50th time that he emptied the big scrap bin of turnings from his lathe, he was like, you know, if I could find a way to sell that, because that's like a penny's worth of scrap brass. And he figured out a way to sell those for five bucks a piece. And he is laughing all the way to the bank. This is best. It tells me it just says best. <laughs> Obviously, it's the best. Well, that's cool. And there's refills for it from Thermaltronics. Designed by Thermaltronics USA, made in China. At a place that, like, somewhere there's a company that's actually turning brass faucet parts or something like that. And these are just the, the turnings. And some dude is like, hey, if you want that little ball, you could make it like fill the, and I don't. I don't like that it rattles around. Probably floof it. Yeah, you can floof it a bit. <laughs> floof it a bit. It's a project for you. So all that's going to avionics, electronics, stuff. That's it. In there, who wants gummy bears? Nobody wants gummy bears? Drew needs gummy bears. <laughs> all right, I got one other thing. This is from Denichi, probably. It usually nice. is. It's from Denichi. Paper towels, and thank you, sir. Dear God, we need more paper towels. We like this is a thing. We we especially this time of year we go through a lot of paper towels. So thank you, Denichi, for paper towels. Let's try to hit the door. VJ filled my plans. You guys have fun. Thank you, everybody out there who helped out in viewer mail today. And we're going to get to lunch, and then we'll be back with all manner of fun and adventure around the lab. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream this morning with Holger Kuster who autopsied, uh, for, for those of you on the blog, you might have missed it, but Holger uh, autopsied a brand new, like, hours old iPhone 7, and that was kind of cool. It was neat to see an autopsy that I actually wasn't in, and we recorded that for production, so you guys will see it on the Geek Group's official channel. It'll be a real video, and it'll be out real soon now. Nice. So, that's your mail. We'll be back. Come on. Then you just hand me the camera. And you don't press the button.
That'll make you shit yourself if you're not expecting it. I'm standing here right in line. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's the uh, timed drain for the air compressor. Okay. There. I'm just sitting here getting a nice mellow shot. Are you doing stripes? And then all of a sudden, I'm peeing down my leg. You can turn your music back on, though. Well, that was refreshing. So I'm going to be shooting an autopsy in the next few minutes. At least that's what they tell me. Are you back to your project? Mm, my project is... Oh, sitting outside baking in the sun. No, this is the final touches for her project. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know how to use a radio. I do not know how to use a radio. I do not know how to use a radio. I can show you, but if I'm giving you one, it's gonna make my pants fall down. If you do that, can you give a lesson to Moose too? That'd be kind of cool. I didn't say that. I never said that. I wouldn't say that. Not me. No. This dog needs love. This dog needs love. Comment and say hi to Maggie. She needs love. Don't you? You're having a hard day. Yeah. The whole internet loves you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the phone rings. Do you need love too? Oh, hey, look at that. You did engineering. You did legit engineering there. How are you doing? We won't talk about design flaws. Okay. There was nothing there. It takes all my fun away. Hey, how did it work out with that foundation? Did they say anything? Yes. And? Um, there's a meeting in two weeks. Okay. And we're We're in it? Yeah. What's our... Where are we at? I was looking at all the Stage two, three, twenty... Three. Three? What's the amount? You should find out. Hi, dog. You are full of grace. Hi. You, you having a hard day there? You all right? Fifteen. Fifteen grand? Exciting stuff up here. As long as they don't cut the webbing. Don't cut the webbing. <laughs> Ta-da! Mazel tov! All right, so we cut that off of here because this is the crappiest hook ever. It just it did it did one of these. That's not acceptable. So, for a whole five bucks, I bought a cheap one. Because it may rust out in a year, but oh, for five that's bucks. Galvanized yeah. too, so. And this has a way better lock setup on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot better. Oh, that's lovely. Cool. All right, you want to do the back? Uh, thank you for helping out on the autopsy. That, that yeah. good. We just shot the autopsy on the record players. 
And right now, if you get on Facebook, like it, it went public, the, the iPhone I'd have to went public already. Oh wow. Yeah, like minutes ago. Batman! What? What is this jank nastiness? Oh my god. What? Oh. It's totally loose. I guess someone tried to steal it. <laughs> or you know, or it bounce and... Yeah, that, cheap, that's what I was saying. I think if somebody tried to steal it, they'd have had it. Alright, so now we're going to redo the strap. Crap. Well, not really redoing anything. We just, you know, used what we had. <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna we're gonna establish proper safety strap mojo. Yeah, yeah. You want to back this up into the door to do that, or you want to do it out here? It's a nice day. It is a nice day. Either way, I'm laying on the ground. Okay. Batman's under the boat. And you want it slightly angled. Yeah, slight angle because we're pulling at that angle, so yeah. So what'd you think of the shoot? Sorry. Did you have fun? It's been a bit of a long day. Okay. It's about that angle? Oh, come on back here and take a look at the thing. See the, the greater picture. Yeah, I'm just I'm eyeballing it. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good angle. So, how do we drill a square hole, though? No, oh, that's gonna be hard. Wow, that's From a sharp drill bit. That's it's a. Th I, I send me three eighths drill bits for the love of God. I have a lot of them, and about all of them are dolls. Hey. Learn, it, learn how to sharpen drill bits. Most of the time it's not really worth it, unless you have like, you know, one inch bits. Well, the good news is that's way sharper than the last one. No, you're, you're doing it. Yeah, no. I just like to know right when I'm about to poke through because you know I like to do that twist yeah, and okay. snap your wrist thing. Hey Batman? Yeah. It's about to do that twist and snap your wrist. There you go. See? Unfucked it. There's so much damn rust right there. Ah.
cool. Why? I drilled a little too high. You want me to wrench it? Gotta get started first. Captain to AV, come in AV. Do you have someone bring out a 916 wrench? Go for AV. Can you give Christian a 916 wrench and send him out to the back parking lot, please? don't see is like I, I'm practically juggling this nut with the edges of my fingers. Well, they can't see because it's <laughs> dark as hell in there. You're not Christian. You're quite possibly, you know, Satan herself. Hi. Hi. I asked for Christian because I was going to have him hold the blog camera. He's doing important things. What? Really? In turn, do an important thing? He's been here a minute and a half. You realize what we've made some interns do the first moment they do work here, right? Yeah, but only when they're really cool. They gotta be like Bellatini. What was your first day story? Isn't it well, <laughs> we didn't have heat, so I sat in the front office with my personal laptop and started making Captain's blog titles. <laughs> That, that was your first thing? My, my first day... You did the ones with the spinny thing goes here and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first day was mocking up ideas and you chose the blueprint thing that we did for a while until Steve came. Oh, that's right. Batman, do you remember Mr. Bellatini's first day? That was the street luge day. Yeah. Yeah. His first day was in the back of your old truck. Yeah. With uh, the camera crane. I say with the other Steven as well. Stole my it. first shoot was being hung off a train, but that wasn't my first day. That was like a month later. That was the train with Corey. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, I remember that. Ah! It's a step away from using my shoelaces. And knowing Corey, that footage doesn't even exist anymore. Suck of a dough, that was a good video. Really? It's got a bajillion hits. Oh no, that train thing I didn't have anything to do with. We Which, did it. What train did you do? 
We did another one where I was just sat on the f very front of a very tiny locomotive and we just recorded the trip from Coopersville to downtown GR. Oh, that one. Oh. We should post that. Well, I, that's what she's saying. She doesn't know if it still exists. Corey was very bad at backing things up. See if you can find the footage for me. Hi, cat! Kitty, kitty! If I hung closely enough, he actually moves. Kitty, kitty, kitty! Yeah? Is she bothering you? I like, that, I like that he meows on every step, or at least his meows vibrate. Well, it's about time for someone to bother him instead of vice versa. Kitty, kitty, kitty! Oh, I bothered him enough. He's gonna go lick the dumpster again. Everybody likes a good dumpster licking. Especially you that cat. Shot at that? Okay. <laughs> Give me a note. Alright. Well, we're gonna be here. Let me, let me, let me try this. Remember, we'll just start it so we can hoop. I'll just, I'll just start it. No, we'll go for that. <laughs> here, you the next one. The next one's gonna sit for like an inch. Two inch lower. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I, cause I'm like, what the hell are you doing in there? I drilled a little too high. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you done fucked it. You should be able to get it, and then the next one will just drill just a little lower. You get it? Yeah. All right, don't don't over snug it. You got to put this on. Oh, that's why yeah, I said just yeah. start it. There you go. And then just go ahead and pop another. Now I got to do it with the damn with this wrench. Do you got one of those Jupa Jupa wrenches like this? Because uh, man, that that'd size. be cool as hell. I don't hell. have a full set. I only have partials of those. Oh shit, Batman? Yeah. All right, so I can. No, I think I can do. Oh shit! Why is there a hole in the bottom of the boat shaped like Chris's hand? It's the Iron Fist. Don't ask questions. Say they're nylocks, so you just gotta get it good and snug. Fuck you! <laughs> I can't move the wrench, so I have to move the thing. Come here. I'll hold tension on this. You spin the thing around. But you gotta bring it down tight, okay? Yep. Teamwork! Oh, oh, that's all you're gonna get. All right, now. Oh, we're fucked. All right. We don't need that wrench anymore. Anyway. Well, that's 916. <laughs> well, do you have a 916 stubby wrench? I might, or See I might just make stubby. that a stubby. You might just make this a stubby. Because you drilled a hole too high. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to put the other one in. I didn't put that one in because you might interfere with the wrench. Oh, no, the angle's so damn... Well, if you've stubbied the wrench, then yeah, maybe. All right. Hi there, boys and girls. If you ever have to set a nut inside a, a trailer thing, something to remember is... This piece here hinges on that pin. And because of that, this is a very separate piece of metal from this piece of metal. This piece of metal is a rectangular channel. It goes all the way around. It has a bottom. That bottom extends all the way back to about here, a line about there. So the bottom here will I can't, I can point. There's a sharpie under your leg. It's my sharpie. So the bottom comes back. To right there. And the bolt. Is that high. So the nut. Is. <laughs> and Batman can't wiggle his fingers up in there as we've seen for the previous two and a half hours while he tried to do that. That one, nice and easy to get into, no problem. But because I got the bolt sticking out there and the bolt sticking out there, so I got a bolt here that I can barely get a wrench into and I have another piece of metal down here at this level. 
so the wrench can't seat because the wrench is too long. So I got to get in under this and out over this and thankfully they make a type of wrench called a stubby wrench which is just like a regular wrench but shorter genetics and uh, I can get that in there and, and do the thing. But we're inside a channel that's about three inches wide so I can only turn the wrench a tiny little bit and this is where I should no, I can't use a socket because I can't get over it. I have to come in from behind. So this is this is made of fun. It's made of fun. And we'll be back in just a minute. This, huh? Yeah. Give it a try. I don't have any stubbies, so I figured give that a try before. Alright. Nope. Well, nope. wait. Oh, nope. Right. I can't it I can't. Mm. I can't get on it. Mm -hmm. What else you got? This one's a slightly That's different even angle. worse. Maybe. Nope. Mm. Who do we know with tiny hands? Well, it's not a tiny hand problem. It's a All right. tiny well, problem. Alright, well, it's nylocked. And I can get this one good and tight. So we'll just go with that for now. You want to go start drilling the holes on your side? You're laying on my cardboard. <laughs> What size? 916s. Yeah. I should have had that out already. Where'd you put it? Because the wrenches are all in here. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, I know how this part works. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Go drill the fucking ass. I got a heavy eyeball in me. Oh, okay. Hi. How's your stripes going? Hey, I see yellow. So you're already painting. I thought you'd leave at four. I did, and then I came back. Oh, okay. I finished the second coat. <laughs> you're cool. Do you have to? Do you happen to have a stubby 916 wrench on you? I we, I know we had some stubby wrenches. I had some metric stubby wrenches. So we don't have any SAE stubby wrenches. I'm gonna make one. I have lots of 916s. I was hoping, because I have a small set of wrenches that someone had cut apart, and I was like, you know, if someone had cut these, they needed them. I might need them. Here's your drill. Here's your thing. I'm just going to stand up, and I'll just drag the whole thing over there. Yeah, but we got, we got stuff here. I don't want to lose pieces. It's important business. I was going to just drag it all over. Well, serious business. Ah. Now that we're smarter than we were over there, you got a Sharpie? Yeah, I got a Sharpie. You got a Sharpie. Hey, Batman. Mm -hmm. Organic tobacco from the ocean. All right, now hang on, hang on, hang on. I was just going to, you know, because that's the bottom of the line. That's, that's the line. So move your fucking hand. That's the line. We're yeah. going to stay below that line, okay? We'll so stand back and I'm gonna eyeball put the angle. Put that about like that, and I'm gonna put it. All right, now, Amy, standing back, center line of the boat. Look at the angle that this is at. How close is it to the angle on the other side? It's good. See the angle of this? It wants to be a mirror image of the other side. You want them both going like this? No. Be what you're doing? No. Well, they, they should both like go this. like this. Like this. Yeah. Well, they should be mirror images. They should not go like this. They should go like this. Well, that one kind of angles this way. So if you want that one to angle that way, turn it. So it's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. Does it look right? No. I mean, no. Yeah, it does. All right. Amy's not allowed to help anymore. She's fine. And we're going to say that's the angle, so make your mark.
Chris. inside. It's warm! Here, you take that. Hand me that, and the other thing, and... Amy Bear, come here! You can drive the camera. Stuff's over there. Alright, so just leave it on the cardboard. It's way easier. Way easier. Alright, you want to get the old strap off and prep the new straps? Helpful hint for those of you at home who may be new to spinning a wrench. Whenever possible, pull a wrench. Don't push it. In this particular instance, on, on the first one up here, I had to push it a little bit, and that's dangerous, because if anything slips, you're going to smash your knuckles on the thing. So whenever possible, pull the wrench, because then you're just going to hit yourself, and you're a lot softer than the steel of the trailer or the vehicle you're working on. Cool! And now when these are under tension, they'll go up like that, because it's, it's on an angle to the tie-down point. And by having two of these here, we have a proper anchor point, and this is, you could pick up the whole damn boat off this thing, so with the other one not being 100% kosher, I think it'll be all right. Thank you, sir. So this goes up on the boat, like that. These are kind of long, and if I do them like this, I got too much dingus. 
So these have. I want to find better ones of these. Really. But what I you can, can get do, boat specific ones that are like only a foot long. Yeah. Yeah, I told you this. That's some deal with them. Send you a link to those. Don't cut these. We can use these for. Yeah, we'll use things. these for other stuff. But if you double it around, you can totally get there short enough that it'll work. Yeah. Just barely. And these are rated to a thousand pounds a piece. <laughs> Yeah, for an 800 pound boat. Yeah. For, for, yeah, the entire boat doesn't weigh a thousand pounds. So. You the one doing weird. What do you mean I'm doing weird? You have the excess strap go this way so that when you're holding, you can pull the excess and then ratchet. And then you're not The excess? The excess? The excess. It's not the excess You're strap. taking the excess slack out easier with that so you don't have to ratchet for yeah, but now it's, it's down low. And, and this is easy to handle. If I was going to leave them like this, I'd just the, put, a, other, put a knot here or something and cut it off. The other thing is then when you tie off your slack, you can go over your latch and make sure your latch is actually staying down when you tie it off. Does it, the, the latch can't come up because to do they're that, not, they're it's not under tension. They're not supposed to, it can't, it but can't they come, can. It can't. It can't come up because it's, it's secure on the thing. See, when it goes down... Oh, the, when they're nice and brand new, it's pretty awesome, but when they start getting old... This isn't gonna get old. This is this they is eventually the, get old. This is the highest quality Chinese strapping security system ever. It's totally legit. And it's so I mean look at how quick we did that compared to the old bullshit of up and through and down and all this. Is, this is way more better. Alright, shall we shove the boat inside? Let's pick up the tools. So we did the new front secure, we did the back secure. It's all, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. I'll take care of the socket. Put that back in the thing. Because I'm an adult, I put my tool. So who do we want to blame for cleanup for Studio A? You know how we did the big movie, the big meeting about cleaning up after yourself like yeah. yesterday? Yeah. The studio A is trashed from movie night. And the kitchen was trashed from game night. Those who were at set events. No, what you do is you take the peen and you just tap it just like that right at the edge, right here, the whole thing will go. But I won't do that because I'm a responsible adult. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Tomorrow we do black? Hopefully. That'd be pretty badass. I'm so happy about the stripey door idea. I even like it like this. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot better than the ugly it used to be.
stripey doors. It's awesome. It's really cool. And apparently we pissed off the squirrels. There's an angry squirrel sound over here. All right, I gotta eat dinner and I gotta get to class. So, you guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Why would you park it there? Why would you? Why would you do that? Grab the dark chalk. Yep. Thank you. Ah! See you tomorrow.